Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you coming to you live from my car. And it is so nice and sunny out today. I am just loving it, even though it is winter. So I got my sunglasses here, but took them off so you can see my face for those of you that are live with me right now. And today my question for you is, do you like who you are today? Do you like who you are, what you have become, where you're going, uh, how your life is going, the choices you're making, and the different things about yourself? How do you feel about that? I ask because if the answer to that question is, eh, not quite so sure, I wish this and I wish that, and oh, I don't like this, and then there comes another question, which I had shared a graphic about this not too long ago. I had a young lady on it and she was pointing to the words and it said, day one or one day. Really gets me thinking about choice, about ownership. And who are you today and who's in charge of that? Your identity of who you are and what your life what you want your life to be like, how you want to behave, what you want your character to be, who you want to be involved with, that's up to you. And if you are deferring that to someone else or to another time, going, well, one day I'm going to go back to school and, you know, do that thing that I want to, but, you know, I just can't do that right now. But you're not happy with yourself because you're not doing that. Or one day I'm going to, you know, go to counseling because I just, I don't know, I probably should and all that. And, but you're not doing it now. You're, you're pushing it off to one day. I want to call you into today being day one. I want to encourage you to take ownership of your life. To make today day one. If there is something about your life, about yourself, that you are not liking, that you want to change, that if you have deferred it to someone else because they did this or they did that or they are doing this or they are doing that, what is your part in the story? Yes, we are affected by other people. We are affected by their decisions. But we have a choice in how we respond. We have a choice in how we move forward. We have power. You are not powerless. It does not matter if you hate everything about your life. There is something that you can do to own your life, to move forward in the direction that's good for you. You might just be able to do one thing, but you can do something. You can do something. I want to encourage you. You have more power than you might think you do. And to take ownership, become a victor inside your own self instead of playing a victim and deferring to another day, another time, or when your circumstances are perfect, that's never going to happen. Never. There is no such thing as perfect. The only thing that's perfect is God. We aren't perfect. Life isn't perfect. Timing isn't perfect of anything. Only thing that's perfect is God and when he does perfect things in us. So I want to encourage you, if you are unhappy with who you are in any way, that you would make today day one, that you would not say someday or another day or one day. Instead, you would take today as day one and take action. What do you need to do? What do you need to do to move forward? If you need coaching, I can help you. I can help you move forward from wherever you are stuck. If you are ready for help, if you're not ready for help and you want to park in victim land, I can't help you. And it would not serve you any purpose to even try because you would just not do anything. But if you are ready, if you are ready, nothing can stop you. So I want to encourage you with that. You are powerful today. And I, I love you. I want to encourage you to make today day one to bring about change, to choose to make whatever change serves you so you can be who you want to be and like who you are because you deserve that. God created you for a purpose. There's God-given greatness in you. He loves you. 
I love you. Until next time, I love you.